Hi, I'm Susan Ashbrook, and you're watching Equine VIP, because if it's about horses, we cover it. In this episode, we're going to be introducing you to Susan Trebus. Susan is an elite equestrian with an inspiring story to tell. Let's go meet Susan and learn more. Well, Susan, I am so happy you made time out of your busy schedule to talk with Equine VIP. Thank you. Well, let's start with the beginning. You started riding when you were three years old. Is yes. that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my first ride was a, a pony trail ride. And my parents said I was smitten with horses, you know, from the get go and sort of. Snowballed, snowballed into from there. <laughs> yeah, this crazy <laughs> to this. Yeah, I didn't ever think that it would come to this. <laughs> Going to represent your country and uh, competing with, oh, I can't even remember the amount of the number of nations that are going to, what is 18 mm -hmm. some odd nations that are going to be in Kentucky. I mean, this is a big deal. <laughs> Not very yeah. many people do this. So. Right. Yeah. Tell me what a, a para equestrian is. Um, well, para means parallel. And so it's essentially uh, uh, parallel being um, disabled versus able-bodied. Um, and so they came up with the term paraequestrian as, you know, the disabled athletes riding horses. And so um, um, in the world of international paraequestrian um, sport, there is only currently one recognized um, discipline, and that's paradressage. Yes. And it's for elite athletes. Um, that are that ha have disabilities, and we're all graded. What's called graded on our disabilities. So I was born I, without my left hand, and so I have the slightest of disabilities as far as the grades go. Meaning that I'm a grade four, where a grade one is um, severely disabled. Um, mm -hmm. Typically, cannot walk and has limited um, movement, you know, in in their body and whatnot. And so. We each compete in our grades with our peers, and, mm -hmm. and there are tests made for the specific grades. Mm -hmm. And so there's, the tests differ depending on the abilities of the riders. And that's how, um, you know, in international competition, you ride a test, usually a team test, an individual test, and a freestyle to music, all within your grade. Okay. And then you medal within your grade. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I have to ask, did anybody in your journey say no? There were, of course, people that, um, that were negative. The negative responses were probably the things that motivated me the most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my dream team starts with my life mentor. She's taught me literally probably everything that I know about horses, and that's Ellen Eckstein. Who we've interviewed. You have, <laughs> with Jane Smiley. And then Dennis Callen, who um, found Money Penny for us, which is the horse that I ride, and also um, really is the one who encouraged me to take this international step. He actually, I mean, he really shoved me off the cliff. And then most recently in um, 2009, I started working with Stefan Peters, which I think uh, just the name alone says enough. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> yeah. talk about that meeting with Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Tell me how you <laughs> met. Um, it's an interesting story. I was down in L.A. Mm -hmm. and um, Dennis saw me in the crowd and saw that I had one hand. And he actually came up to me during lunch and said, um, I understand that you're quite a good rider. Have you ever thought about becoming an international para-equestrian? I didn't know anything about para-equestrian at the time. And I didn't realize that they were elite athletes. Oh, you went, where do I sign up? It, yep, it, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. It was immediate, um, yeah. although it took us quite a while to find a horse. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of horse do you need? You have to have uh, an FEI international quality horse. It doesn't necessarily need to be Grand Prix, mm -hmm. although many of the horses are. Um, but it at least needs to be pre-St. George or higher because you have to have the quality in the movements and the gates um, at, at international level, pre FEI pre-St. George, in order to be competitive in right. FE FEI para equestrian um, I really consider Money Penny one of those once-in-a-lifetime horses mm -hmm. where there was just an immediate connection. And what's unbelievable is that you can have a hard day, 
and then the next day can be the best day yeah, you've ever had. That's and what that's, I love about horses yeah, too. Yeah. Now I fractured my wrists a couple years ago and you know have plates and everything and I know gathering the reins for me is hard. Yeah. How, how do you make that work for you? Um, well, it's it takes practice because I can't, because I use the prosthesis and I, so I cannot feel the reins. I practice. I mean, I walked, I can't tell you the amount of time I've walked around the arena just dropping the reins and picking them up. Now you have a blog. Yes, so my blog is www.susanandmp.blogspot.com and you can also get to my blog through my website, which is just www.susantrebess, T-R-E-A-B-E-S-S dot -E -S -S com. Super. As a professional and also, uh, you know, a U.S. team rider and international rider, mm -hmm. you cannot do this without sponsors. Yeah. We're sponsored by Custom Saddlery. And then um, we also are sponsored by a joint supplement company called um, Luberson. Adequan has helped us this year. Summit Equine Nutrition has helped us. And um, the dream team just yeah, gets bigger. I know. There are so many days when you think, I just can't do it anymore. Yeah. This is too much, the anxiety, the pressure, the, all that. But, um, you know, having that strong support team, I, I always say it's, it's like it takes a village. <laughs> well, we look forward to learning more and following your career. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Susan. <laughs>